Welcome back to another episode of Hyper Genki. My name's Cece, and although Misa is meant to be presenting today's show, she's a little bit sick, so we'll wish her all the best and she'll be back next week. As for today's show, we'll be wrapping up our last World Cup segment. We'll be talking about some naughty toys, and we have some ninja action. Where else can you get crazy stuff like this in one? Here we go. So, do you like cyberpunk, ninjas, and anime? Well, you're in luck, because the official website of the upcoming anime Ninja Slayer has just posted a trailer promising exactly that. Boy, I love ninjas. Ninja Slayer is based on the book of the same name by Bradley Bond and Philip Morzes. The anime will be produced by Studio Trigger and Akira Amamiya, who previously worked on Kill la Kill, will direct. As a bonus, Japanese rock electronica group the Boom Boom Satellites will also be performing the main theme song. The story takes place in a dystopian future and focuses on a salary man called Kenji Fujikido, whose wife and child are killed when they get caught in between a ninja turf war. Barely surviving himself, Fujikido cheats death when he is possessed by a mysterious ninja soul called Naku Ninja and then goes on a rampage of revenge as the Ninja Slayer, hunting and killing all those that have done him wrong. Ninja Slayer is due out in 2015. We're not sure exactly when, but don't worry, we'll let you know when we do. And up next is game news. This time around, we have the 16th main game in the Atlas series and the third in the Dust storyline called Shari no Atori Tasagara no Yumi no Ren Kenjitsushi, aka Adelia Shali, Alchemist of the Dusk Sea. This entry into this series will allow you to pick one of two characters, Shalisteria or Shalot, each of which has their own unique storyline. The game's story takes place about 10 years after the beginning of Atelier Ayesha, the Alchemist of Dusk, and six years after the beginning of Atelier Eshka and Logi, Alchemists of the Dusk Sky. As water sources dry up from an oasis town, the plants wilt and animals go hungry. It is here where two alchemists with different methods of making a living meet. Whilst Shalastira aims to find a way to save her village from demise, Charlotte Alminus goes on her daily life in an attempt to become a proper alchemist. Shalastira's story will reveal the truth and mysteries that have been depicted throughout the series, while Charlotte's story will revolve around the daily life in the world. After meeting each other, Shalastira and Charlotte will grow by fulfilling goals by working together, and the friendship of the two are one of the main elements that the story will focus on. The new life task system shows tasks that the players have to perform and is tailored to suit the different playing styles. Players can now do side quests that allows them to learn more about the characters and the story. Yay! Another cool addition is the ability to combine different items. This is done by finding both blueprints and the necessary items to do so. For those of you who can't wait to get this game, don't worry, it'll be coming out later this month, July 17th. And now for toy time. First up, we have this little figurine. She is a 110 scale pre-painted PVC figurine called Kyoko Sakura from the anime series Puella Maji Madoka Majika. She has a cute little beach bikini on and much like the anime series, she loves eating. You can definitely tell this by that cheeky little popsicle in her mouth. And up next, we have a much naughtier girl. This one is a 1/8 scale pre-painted PVC figure called Panty. She's from the Panty and Stocking with Gardabelle anime series. Now we can't show you everything about this figurine. She's a little bit R-rated. Not only is she pulling down her cute little thong, but she's in the sexiest little schoolgirl outfit with interchangeable arms, with a cheeky smile, and she has two guns that will literally blow you away. And now for crazy commercial time. This time round we have a commercial from Kieran Ice. Now I'm not sure exactly what I just watched, but there's a lot of outfit changes 
and it looks pretty refreshing. So just pwa. Soto wa achi. Kate wa hiete. Iimi de. Suma wa yuki onna. Mushiro welcome. Natsuda sama da. Otsukare sama. Kie sugite uma sugi o. Nodo no shiai su deta. this recording, the World Cup is just down to three contenders and as it's almost over, we thought we'd wrap it up and celebrate this awesome tournament by taking a look at some of the work of a Japanese manga artist's reimaginings of some of the teams into beautiful anime ladies. Here are some of our favourites, take a look. And first up we have Japan. Not only does she look super fierce, but I love those rays of beams coming out of those hands. Second, we have Russia, looking very cold and very cute in her woolen clothes. Third, we have my personal favourite, and I'm not biased at all, Australia, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Fourth up, obviously taking inspiration from Iron Man and the Iron Patriot, we have the United States of America. Number five, we have a cute little robotic girl with a fierce lion behind her. This is, of course, the Netherlands. Number six, looking happy and well, maybe not so happy after their last game. We have Brazil. Number seven. This one's a bit difficult to explain, but I'm sure you can see that she's probably the most out there one of all. We have Costa Rica. Number eight. We have the little red devil from Belgium with her very big ball. <laughs> and number nine. We have head to toe orange robotic girl with some awesome elephant tusks and cute boots. Girl, where did you get those? From Cote d'Ivoire. Number 10, we have this pretty girl wearing Diego Maradona's iconic number for Argentina. Number 11, looking very fashionable and very starry, we have Italy. And finally, looking very serious, probably after that game with Brazil, we have Germany. And that's it for our coverage of the World Cup. See you again in the Euro Cup in two years. And that's it for another episode of Hyper Genki. I hope you enjoyed it, I sure did. But until then, I'm gonna go off and watch the game Holland versus Argentina. Ciao!